Hi there, everybody. It's winter months in Kaiseren, and it's during this time of the year that the sardines start moving up the coast and fish like shad start coming onto the bite. Now, a lot of holiday makers come up the coast, and the main aim is to catch some shad. So, today I'm going to show you guys a basic shad trace, one that works all the time, easy to make, and if you come on holiday, this is the type of trace you want to build to catch a shad. All right, so what would you need to build your shad trace? Very simple, your fishing wire. I like to use the number five or number six wire. Um, some swivels, hooks, depending on the size shad that's in the area, especially in case that in our shad aren't that big. Um, they're gonna be 40 odd centimeters and maybe a bigger if you're lucky. So you wanna use like a 1.0 or a 2.0 hook and that smaller hook also gets hidden in the bait nicely so it doesn't stick out too much and if you do have a bite your chance of hooking up is much better and then obviously some pliers just to cut the wire all right so let's start off we're going to grab our wire and we're going to attach the swivel first all right so we've got a swivel and on most of the packets of the wire when you buy it, they'll show you how, on the back of the packet, they'll show you how to do the hay wire twist. So it's a very simple little knot. Um, it's just a simple little twist and or three or four twists of the wire. And after that, you just wind the wire over the, the tag end over the other piece of the wire. All right, so to start off, I'm gonna cut the wire. The first piece, approximately 25 centimeters long. And this is gonna be the piece above your hooks. So it's gonna be, your soil is gonna be attached to that and your, hooks are going to be, your first hook is going to be attached to the other end of this. So here we've got our piece of wire, approximately 25 centimeters long, my swivel in the end, and I'm going to put the wire through the eye of the swivel, and we're going to do our hay wire twist knot. So it's not actually a knot, it's more just a twist. Twist your wire, so it sort of forms a wire at the end, and then I'm going to give it three twists, just to start off the, the AY knot. So I've given it three twists like that. After you've done that, you take your tag end, you push it down, and you make a 90 degree angle. And then I'm gonna take the tag end and just wrap it neatly around the wire. You don't have to wrap it too many times. Five times is more than enough. And that's a little loop knot or the hay wire twist complete. I'm just gonna take my side cutters and cut off the tag end, close to the wire as I can. Right, and that is a swivel attached to the first piece of wire. Now the next job is to put our first hook onto the other end of this piece of wire. So I'm going to grab my 2 hook and attach it using the same knot. And we grab one hook out of our packet. And this is actually going to be the hook that goes through the mouth of the sardine when you bait up. And the purpose of this hook is just to keep the bait straight and everything in line. It's not actually to catch a shad. This is a hook that holds the bait together. Right, so it's exactly the same knot, and we just attach that hook to the wire. So, give it three twists. And then just wind it up. All right, so I'm going to straighten the knot a bit. That's done, and cut the tag end off. Obviously, these pieces of wire that I'm cutting off, I'll take home with me and throw away at home. I won't leave it on the beach, because we don't like polluting the ocean or the beaches.
All right, so that's the first part of our trace done. We've got our swivel, which will be attached to our main line with a piece of number six wire onto our first hook. So the next step is to add another piece of wire and add another hook onto this. So through the eye of the hook, I'm gonna cut another piece of wire about 25 centimeters and then attach it onto the eye of the hook. All right, so let's cut another piece of wire. approximately 20 odd centimeters and we're going to take it through the eye of the hook and attach it in the same manner. Right, and then we're going to cut the tag end off as well. So, so far, we've got our swivel, our top hook, a piece of wire, and this is going to be our bottom hook. So, you've got to determine how big your sardines are that you're going to use. Generally, you buy your sardines. So, do a rough measurement of the size of your sardine, and you want this bottom hook quite close to the tail of the sardine. It's very important as we've got that it's got to be close to the tail of the sardine because the way a shad feeds is it'll normally bite the tail of its prey off first and then eat from there. So that's where it's going to bite first and that's when you're going to hook the shad. So I know my sardines are approximately that long and I need to attach the bottom hook over there. Right, so we've got our second hook and we're going to add this to the trace. Alright, take our side cutters and cut off the tag end. Alright, so there we go. We've got our bottom hook attached to the trace. So, what we need to do now is add a second hook. Shared of very fast. Uh, feeders, they shake the bait, they're erratic feeders and generally when you've only got one hook at the bottom there you'll miss them so we put two hooks at the bottom to make sure we catch that shad. So same process all over again and we're going to make this hook a little bit shorter than the first one. This one then we sit right near the tail of the sardine and the next one's going to be a little bit up. So just bottom or the upper section of the tail should I say. So same story, cut a piece of wire and we're going to put it through the eye of the hook again. Put a hook onto that. Okay, so we're going to grab our hook now and just measure nicely and make sure 
if this one is a little bit shorter than your bottom hook and it's attached there so I want the hook to sit around about there so that's where I want to make the knot same process again Right, and then we're going to grab our pliers and just cut that off. Alright, so I'm just taking my pliers to straighten my knot a bit. It bent a bit while I was making it. Get it nice and straight. And that's it. There's my basic shad trace done. Right, so here we've got our swivel right to the top. That'll be attached to your main line. We've got this piece of wire for protection. If there's a lot of shad, they often fight over the bait and they might bite you off. Um, top hook, as I said, goes through the mouth of the sardine. That keeps the sardine in place. And these two bottom hooks are close to the tail of the sardine. As I said, the shad likes to feed from the back. They like to bite off the tail of their prey first. And that's Jenny, where he's gonna grab the bait first and you're gonna hook him. So very simple trace. They can't, they show it's got extremely sharp teeth, they'll bite through any nylon, so that's why we're using this um, number 6 wire or number 5 wire, just to prevent them from biting through your nylon trace.